You're doing well. My name is Cerise. Welcome to my channel. And I got to tell you, I think I have a really good video for you guys today. So, um, well, I don't think I know. Sorry, I just got distracted because I heard, thought I heard wings from um, a dragonfly. There has been a dragonfly coming into my bedroom twice now. And clearly, I am a little bit traumatized because I'm like this. But it just hangs out and I did some research on it. But I'll get, that, I'll get to that later on when we do the questions and answers. Because I really want to talk about this dragonfly and I really want to talk about cockroaches here. Even after. But the topics for this video, well, the topic for this video are three main points that I want to talk about and three things that I think you should know about before you come here or even if you're here already because it can actually help make your stay a little bit easier. Alrighty, a little update on my eyebrows. They're looking kind of dark and maybe even a little bit kind of uneven. I got them microbladed the other day, so they're still in the healing process. Um, let's see, we have some messages here. Good afternoon, James. Oh, I just read that without any glasses on. Gosh, guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to have to start drinking some more water in the morning. So I do love drinking a lot of water anyway, but more exercise because exercise is going to help better vision. I know that now, which I'll get more into later on. And Proface says, hello, Cerise. Jamar. Oh, Jamar, good afternoon. And then Profi, hello. Biggie Smalls in La Casa. Hello, guys. And um, I want to say thank you so much for joining me. You guys, don't forget to hit that like button because I want to do more videos like this. And if you guys hit that like button, I'll know that you like it. And I'll start doing more videos like this. I've already done a few like this, like five things about the Dominican Republic or why certain people leave. And Richard just said, good morning, beautiful. Good morning, Richard. So this one's three things that I think you guys should know like um, important things that I learned about here. Okay, so number one, I think, is not the most important, but it's just the one that's on the list and I can knock it off um, quickly. Well, actually, no, not quickly. You guys know me, I'm a talker. All right, so number one is comida, lunchtime, food. Comida is um, in Spanish, C-O-M-I-D-A. C okay, C-O-M-I-D-A. And comida just means food, but it also means like lunchtime. So at lunchtime, this would really benefit you to know if you are like traveling the island and you end up in a small town as you're traveling from one, from one town to the other. You may notice that some of the convenience stores will be closed between the hours of 11.30 in the morning and maybe even sometimes two o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, sometimes it really changes, right? Sometimes they'll do from 11 to 12, I mean 11 to two, especially if they're the ones doing the cooking for the family. Because comida, because lunchtime is such a special um, family time and it's very traditional. It reminds me of when I was a little girl back in the day when lunchtime was very important. Everything at noon, lunchtime. But, but now in Canada, people work through their lunch still very meaningful to the point where in the smaller towns, even like Bayabisa right here, just outside of uh, El Bate, still in Sosua, it's more of a country they call it campo but it's just really the suburbs i would say because i did live there when i moved here when i first got here and um you know they will close down the stores because everybody in that town they cook for themselves at lunchtime and anything that they need to buy for that day they will go to the call model and get it before 11 o'clock or 11 30. everyone knows even yesterday i ordered some chicken from one of my motoconchos and i was like whoa whoa you know um can you please go get me some chicken and i wanted to have a barbecue today when my buddy gustavo comes over and so wobo's like yeah sure no problem and he's like oh wait what time is it and then I even went, oh, it's 11.30. Do you think he's open? And he's like, mm. Now, I know the guy, Gonzalez, um, 
butcher right here below my apartment. I know his wife. They also own um, like Habichuela's business just up the street from here. And now they own another um, like vegetable market around the corner from there. And um, so I know the family and I know that the mother, uh, Moneca, she absolutely is um like cooking at that time so by 11 30 we don't know if he's actually going to be eating or is he going to be still at the shop closing up but you can bet hands down by 12 o'clock everyone is gone so if you're traveling through a small town and you need munchies and you want a couple of refreshments make sure that you pull over before 11 30 in the morning and um expect that you may not find something open until like maybe 1 30 2 o'clock in the afternoon you'll pass by it and the shutters will be down and everything you know like it'll be all barred up and everything and it looks like it'd be closed all day but it's not it's just closed at a very important time lunch time so that's one beautiful thing that i think you guys should really know and also at lunchtime, you will see that if you're sitting in a restaurant or a bar or something of that nature that is Dominican ran, they will still eat their lunch. So they are less staffed at um, lunchtime. If it's like a Dominican place or something, most time, but like um, if it's just a small place, you will see one of the employees enjoying their lunch at lunchtime and then they'll eat as fast as they can and then the other person will go and eat. So they don't just work all day and wait for the place to be empty to eat. You know, it's a very special time once again. Um, but uh, I was going to say something. Yes, in Bate, you'll still find like in the tourist district here it, and you will find um, call models that are open in front, of, in front of my apartment because I live right here in a Dominican neighborhood it, she closes down and she goes home she has a grandson she cooks and she has a daughter and she, you know she makes sure that everybody's fed and that's very very um, traditional here and very understood so mm. again if you're driving through a town chances are if it's not a cafe or a cafeteria and it's just a convenience store it will be closed okay the other topic now I'm just gonna go through all the topics and then we'll get to question and answer let me see actually because I do want to say hi to a few of you guys here let me grab my glasses my hair is getting longer guys with this new product that I'm putting in my hair Richard says, good morning, beautiful, good morning. I love your positive vibes. Oh, thank you, Richard. DR has a true lunch hour. Yes, it does. DR, thank you, Dominicans, for keeping it real. And then Eva just says, hola, Cerise, hola, Eva. So, yes, DR, and, and you know what? Do not book an appointment. That's another thing about Comida, too. If you're meeting with your lawyer or you're meeting with, um, you know, someone with business or something, meet with them before 1130 in the morning. Right. And this is just respect. And you can ask them what time is best for them. Maybe they don't follow the comida hour, the lunch hour. Maybe they just work through it. And that because they've worked with so many Domini so many Americans, so many North Americans that they know now that North Americans work through the lunch hour. So you might be dealing with a lawyer that will work through the lunch hour, but always respect them and just say, hey, um, what time do you think is, is good? Right. Um, and then they'll give you a time. And they, what they will say to you, actually, they won't give you time most times. They will work around your schedule always. Um, here, the, the, the Dominicans, they will always work around your schedule unless it's something to do with a family member that they really have to help or an emergency. So they will say back to you, you give me a time. You tell me when. And then you'll say to them, no, 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 no. Like, you know, you're going to eat your lunch or, you know, they'll go, no, no, no. It's okay. When is it good for you? And then if you have to meet them at lunchtime, then meet them at lunchtime. But if you can work around that lunch schedule, then meet them after lunch, you know, around two o'clock in the afternoon after they had their meal and they're feeling good or before they go to lunch. Um, for, I'm talking about business meetings and stuff like that. But um, so I'm so I'm trying to put my feet up on another chair here just so I can get comfy. Um, but I'm so used to the lunch hour now that I even abide by it myself. Like, I, I enjoy it. 
myself. And it, it just brings me back to childhood and how important it is to take at least an hour to reflect on the morning, you know, and, and a lot of people, they work all through their lunch. They might have had an argument with a co-worker in the morning and, you know, by lunchtime, they, they're hungry, but they have to keep working to keep up with their the hectic schedule at work. And then not only are they angry, they're also hungry and they're harboring things. Maybe their boss doesn't understand them and there's so much stress. And, you know, I think lunchtime is a really important time. You know, they children should also still have a relaxed time. Like it shouldn't just be one hour for the children. I think at school, it should be an hour and a half. You know, um, here it's very liberal like that. And um, children are very happy during their lunch hour. They go home, they're not rushing. Their parents are, you know, most times, unless their parents work in like El Bate at Playero. If their parents don't work at, or, or like, you know, they got a job that demands their time, like at a grocery store or a restaurant or a hotel, you know, servicing to the locals and the tourists, right? If a, if a child doesn't have a parent that does that, then yes, the child is always comforted going home and eating their lunch. And then you can see them with their friends in the street, walking back to school, happy. It's just a really good feeling. So lunchtime is an important part part here of the um, not only the the culture but also the economy I'm trying to get this straight here but also the um, economy so if you're here um, and you want to get yourself a really good um, lunch you can go to any Dominican restaurant and if you are like for instance going to a restaurant for lunch here in El Bate or even like Los Chiramicos, anywhere in Sosua, it shouldn't cost any more. It should it cost anywhere from 125 pesos to 300 pesos. And I say 300 pesos is because most places when they will sell La Bendera, that means the national plate. I'll tell you what that is in a second. When they sell that at lunchtime, um, they at restaurants, they serve you. And so it's a little bit more expensive. But not always, and I'm only talking about like restaurants that are more um, geared towards tourists. But if you go to a Dominican restaurant for the same food, probably even a little bit more, like rice, definitely more rice, um, same amount of meat and everything, but definitely more rice, you get with your La Bandera rice, habichuelas or guanduli, and that's beans. Um, like big beans or small beans. Guanduli is small beans and habichuela is the bigger beans. And it comes, the beans come in like a gravy. It's not sweet. It's very savory. It depends on who makes it. And some that some people make it with more tomato-y. Some people make it more light parsley, you know, like it's different everywhere I go. I really have my favorite spots that I like to buy my habichuela at and one of them one of the favorite lunch spots for me i know it's always fresh and always good and always economical um is over here the pescaderia pescaderia it's the fish shop across from uh, i know i didn't say it right and i know i but i butchered it let me try it again pescaderia pescaderia i hope i'm sure you guys are gonna correct me here but um it's across the street from Caribbean Express, Caribbean Tours. Okay, Caribbean Tours on the main road, Route 5, going into Sosua, right in front of Cher Cheramico's, Los Cheramico's, where it starts. So there is a restaurant there, and they sell the best habichuela with their fish, and it's a seafood restaurant, and rice and salad. So that's a really good seafood spot to go to, which I said is economical. You get to pick out the size of your fish, and they fry it for you there on the spot. You can ask for it to be um, seasoned, like sauce or fried, vapor, they call it. You know, I didn't plan to get into all of this guys but I'm just being very detailed I guess because since I'm talking about lunchtime here and where you guys can go and what a lot of this stuff is so now the national dish is this let me get back to the national dish la bandera it's rice salad beans and any type of any type of meat like um chicken um also uh beef and pork somebody is at my door who would be at my door? Hold on one second. And they're knocking very loud. Hold on. Hola.
Hold on, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay.